This is BBC One in London and the South East. Now at 10 o'clock, the BBC News with Peter Sissons and Emily Maitlis. Justice at last after serving 27 years for murder. But Stephen Downing isn't bitter after his original trial is condemned. Say thank you to all. Loosening Whitehall's grip, the latest answer to the hospital crisis. America brushes off critics of its terrorist prison. It isn't a country club. Lowly Berwick celebrate holding mighty rangers in the Scottish Cup. And in London and the South East, the mother who died after giving birth to twins at a top private hospital. And 9,000 shows, now it's nine lives are up. The curtain comes down on cats. Good evening. His supporters are calling it Britain's longest-running miscarriage of justice. Stephen Downing was jailed for life for murder when he was just 17. Today, 28 years later, all but a few months spent in jail, his conviction was finally overturned by the Court of Appeal. The judges didn't rule on whether they thought him innocent or guilty. They just said that on the evidence before the original trial, which included a confession made under duress, he should never have been convicted. Kevin Bouquet was in court. Stephen Downing arrived early at court, anxious to clear his name at last. His parents were with him. They've supported him for nearly three decades. At the end of the day-long hearing, Stephen Downing grinned broadly when the judges said his conviction should be quashed. Minutes later, he emerged from court, still smiling. I'd just like to say thank you to all my family for all the support and everything. But everybody...